Traditionally, prayers were done when the oil was prepared. As we pour the oil into the vessel, think good thoughts. Wish good things for your client, the best possible outcome from the treatment. You can see with this particular equipment, it's very easy to pour oil into the vessel. It's very easy to top up the oil. The oil should be just above body temperature, a few degrees, about 100 degrees, which should feel pleasantly warm to your hand, but certainly not hot. Remember, we each feel temperature very differently. If you're dealing with a very warm body type, be particularly careful to not use oil that's too warm. It'll make them feel very agitated. Using a little cup to catch the first few drops of the oil just makes it easier. Alert your client and then let it touch their forehead. So when you've established a steady stream of oil, take a few moments to make sure it's in the correct position. You can adjust the whole equipment or you can simply adjust the tilt of the vessel. One or the other should be sufficient to get that oil playing on the midline of the forehead above the eyebrows. This point we call Ajna Mama. In Ayurveda, it's considered the root of the nervous system, which is why Shuradhara is so nourishing to the body, so nourishing and calming to the nervous system as a whole. Always be sure to have the bowl there ready to catch the oil. It sounds so obvious, it's very easily forgotten. If you can adjust the oil that's coming from your client's head to play on the side of the bowl, you'll minimize the noise. As the bowl begins to fill, you'll need to use a piece of paper towel to muffle the noise of the oil trickling into the oil that's in the bowl. So it's a fine, steady stream of oil flowing from the middle of the forehead, over the forehead, over the whole of the top of the head. And you can see it's almost only one fine stream of oil coming off the end of the hair. So surprisingly easy to control. Here we're using plain warmed sesame oil, but Shuradhara can also be given with other substances herbal oil, some excellent for the nervous system, others that benefit the hair and scalp, warmed milk, which is more cooling to the system, salt water, maybe that's useful if you're by the ocean, and the most exotic I've heard, 100-year-old ghee, clarified butter. In the Ayurvedic tradition, it's considered that ghee like this cures all illnesses. While the oil is being played on the third eye, your job is to be present, attentive, protective, to watch that the stream of oil remains as steady as possible and is in as much of the same place as possible, and that you control the noise that the oil would make as it touches the oil in the catching bowl by using paper towel or adjusting the position on the side of the bowl where the oil flows to. The oil plays for a minimum of 10 minutes, a maximum of about 20 if this vessel is totally full. That is easily sufficient time for our brain chemistry to change and for us to reach a state that is conducive to a very deep healing in the body. Remember to catch the oil before it starts dripping at the very end. You can either turn off the tap or use your little catching cup. Allow the oil to drain off the hair for a few minutes and then use paper towel to gently remove the excess oil from the forehead and the hair. As an alternative to having the oil play in just one place on the forehead, you can either keep the vessel in the ring 
and move it backwards and forwards on the forehead or totally remove the vessel and play the oil back and forth on the forehead. This is also totally traditional because there are lesser marma points all over the forehead that help the body relax. My personal experience of this kind of approach is like having a wonderful warm velvety hand move backwards and forwards over your forehead and completely soothe away tension. I was actually very surprised how deeply effective such a very short treatment could be.